Hello everyone, I'm Robin with Robin's 3-3. Today I'm going to show you um, how to paint our wreath attachment. This is our new bike. Um, I'm going to be using this ribbon to um, decide on which colors I want everything to be because this is actually going in a Christmas wreath which I will be doing live this week. So I just want to give you this tutorial to show you how easy this is to paint. And you don't even need paint brushes, okay? So let me just pull you down here so you have a visual on this. Now, there are several ways you can do this. You can paint with a baby wipe. I don't have any baby wipes, but I have some wet wipes. Same thing. All right. So you could paint with these. You could paint with the, the Posca paint markers, which I absolutely adore. Or you can use a paintbrush, however you want. All right. But we're going to start off with the frame. All right. Now I'm trying to match my ribbon here. So I'm going to be using red for the frame. Now, I can do one of two ways. I could put the red paint just a little bit on here, like that. And I could dab this in the red paint and kind of get some of it off of there. And I could do that. This is how you could paint the whole bike if you wanted. But I really want to go darker with it. So I'm going to be using my paint pens with this. So let's see how this is. I love this rich red. And this rich red can be found, and I will put a link in the comments, or in the description. This can be found in the big set on Amazon. There are smaller sets, and they come with the regular red. This red looks almost like um, pink to me. It does not resemble the darkness of this red. So I'm going to be using my paint pens. Because basically all you're going to be doing is coloring the top of the wood. This is laser cut on our laser machine and you'll see the finish that it puts on the side. You do not need to paint the sides. And that's what's so nice about laser pieces. There's no more of that getting in there, getting in there. No. We're just doing the frame the top of the frame. And so you're not even going to have to paint a lot of this bike because this is going to sit on top. So you're not even going to need to paint what's below. But if you wanted it to look faded and such, then I would highly recommend using um, the baby wipe. But I want it to really pop on the wreath. This week, I will be doing Christmas in July. So the bike will be one time. And then I'm not going to share what's next. <laughs> we have a great lineup of some products this week. Um, a lot of new ribbon that was just listed in the Etsy shop. So you really need to check it out. Now I'm doing this piece here and probably this piece here. And anything you see that we make can be sized down or up. So we have that capability with our new software. Meaning we can make it bigger or smaller. So 
Sorry, I've been putting my hands in the way. Another way of working on these so they don't slide around is taping a piece of painter's tape to your table and sticking this to the painter's tape. It kind of holds it in place for you while you're coloring. Now these paint pens, you usually have to shake them. But this is pretty new, so it's coming out really good, the flow. this all red and see when you push down it allows paint into the tip and this method and the other method of using the baby wipe or the dabbers and I've used the dabbers on my um, tutorials before and it's pretty much just a dry dip it in your paint get it really dry and then just start dipping these methods do not sink down into these grooves and still make them visible if you were using a regular paintbrush and you got a little heavy handed and some got in there, you can just use a pin to kind of scrape it back out again. Now see, I really didn't need to cover this because we will have a piece that will cover right over that. I think this was supposed to be cut out so you could see this down below. So our next piece that will be adjusted. Okay, so this is pretty much done. We're just going to set this aside to just dry a little. I could go back there and show you how to do some shading. And places I would shade would kind of be like these areas here where you have them a line and it kind of meets up there. You could go back and even um, sand down some of the fibers we've loosened up when we painted here if you want to give it like a distressed antique look. Now, because this is going to sit on top, this is going to show. So we want to paint the bike light here and here. Now, my wheels are going to be done in black and the spokes are going to be done in this gray. And I may even use, I don't know if this is any lighter. This is a little bit lighter. So I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to want to do this rim here. I'm 
and then the individual spokes. You could paint your wheels white if you, your tires white if you wanted. You can paint your bike any color. This is just the color that I'm going with because I want it to match my ribbon. Or another alternative would be to foil this with foil. I think I'm going to paint the inside circle black. I may do the second one too. I know that when I do my lives and I have to paint the product, it takes a long time. So I thought it was best to do just a tutorial on painting the bike. And sometimes when you're you're using these paint markers, it goes a little bit easier if you're following the green. Sometimes you can't, but in instances that you can, it makes it easier. I know when I was a child and I used to color, I used to like draw a line around and then color up too. Sometimes that helps if you're getting in close spaces there. Now if I wanted to put like snow on the bumper or on the seat like there like there is in the um, ribbon, I could take some paint and mix it with bacon soda to give it that um, chunky kind of look. Now if you were to paint this with a baby wipe, it would go a lot faster than what I'm doing. But I like the um, that, that way of painting is nice, but sometimes it makes it look a little washed out, and I prefer it to be a little darker. So that's why I'm using paint markers. Now I think I'm going to take this and just go inside here. At any time you want to see just how much is showing or what is showing, you can just put this back on there and go that way.
use that as your guide. Looking to see if this had a color name on it. A lot of times they don't put them on, but sometimes the name is on there. This one is from the smaller set. And the darker set, I mean the bigger set, there's only one gray one. This is probably the same color as the other one. Yeah, and see how much bigger the cap is for the bigger set than the smaller set. And this is narrower, so I would think with the larger set you get more paint because your cartridge is thicker. This is going to be seen, so we're just going to do that little area there, and the handlebars, the pipe on the handlebars will show, so we're just going to do that, and this, we're going to do this one. I think with this, we're going to do the petal black. Okay, so we have the bike seat, we have the handlebars, we have the basket, and we have the tires. So let me go ahead and show you how to do the tires with the paint and the wipe. I just use a little piece of wax paper. And I don't want to get any of that red on there, so I'm going to start with a new one. And like I said, you can use, I just didn't have any baby wipes. All I had was the um, wet wipes, so we're using that. I'm just dipping a little in here. Just getting a little bit on here. And you, really, you can use your fingernail to get in that groove to keep your paint on the other side of that rim. I have to add a little more. See? You can just use your fingernail to kind of guide you with that. And don't worry if you get a little on the gray, because I got a little bit of black on the gray earlier, and I just went back after it dried. I'm usually, I'm using my fingernail to kind of 
do the painting for me. And like I said, you can put as much or as little as you want. This way, if you don't want to put out the money for the markers or brushes, all you have to do is use a baby wipe. And see, this isn't sinking in the grooves that are there. Oops, got a little heavy handed there. I shouldn't talk when I'm doing that. But we will go back and kind of pull it towards this way away from the rim to get off the paint that we got on the rim and if it takes some of the black paint off that's okay because we can go back and add more now if you were to paint these white you might need like an exacto knife to go back in there and bring out those little these little um, lines there okay and if you want it darker you just go back over it with more paint and if you get it on the gray you just go back and wipe it off. So there's one wheel with the wipe. I'm going to do this one with the paint marker and see which one you prefer. And this, the way that I'm going to construct the wreath live this week, um, I will be able to take it apart and reuse this bike for any holiday. Probably except with the exception of um, St. Patrick's Day <laughs> because it's red. Or I could make another one and have just this one red, one black, or one red, one green one. Well, blue is a pretty like teal, turquoise. That color is used pretty much most holidays. You could even do it that. A smaller version would look really cute with our seaside cottage bed and breakfast sign in a tear tray. By using the black, you're not really seeing the scored marks that were in there so if you wanted those to show 
you could go ahead and paint it white. I'm just going to go over this because I really do prefer the um, marker. And that I'm going to have to touch up. Got a little sloppy. Or we could just leave it like that, give it a little bit of a shadow. We could do that, leave it as a shadow. together and see if we're good okay that goes over all of that we're almost finished actually I'm seeing a little bit of this come through so I'm gonna do a line around here and if this part was cut out, we would see these down here. So I am going to color this because the next one will need that colored. Because I will take out that additional piece when we make the next one. Alright, so this is done. Now my plan is to put a hole in this because I want to be able to change what I have out on the um, in the basket so that's the way I'm going to do it Sometimes when you're gluing on the edge and you have wood underneath, sometimes you can see a little bit of that wood sticking out. So we're just going to do that. And really, it's nothing just to go ahead and color this too. don't have to but I'm covering anything that might possibly show when I glue it down like I said none of this is going to show but I just feel like coloring you could even go ahead and use this piece and then color one piece green so when St. Patty's rolls around you could just put that right on top of there. Ha ha. covering all my bases. Okay. Now, for these 
three pieces right here. I want to do those with some varnish. So, um, I'm going to get a paper towel. And usually, I have gloves here, and I don't. So, we're going to try not to be messy. Where is my can opener? Nope, can't find it, so we're just going to use this. This is a dark walnut. I love dark walnut for two reasons. I like dark wood, but the other reason is I can make it as dark as I want or as light as I want. Yeah. See? Okay, I'm just going to dip this in here and try not to get it on my finger. <laughs> I just like the richness of the stain on the wood. Come on, get in there. I'm just going to put a little on it and then go back and wipe some of it off. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stain the whole thing. Now, like I said, we have a flower that goes on top of here, but I'm going to be putting a hole in this. Ooh, I could have even used Q-tips to paint this, to stain it. Then I wouldn't have had to touch it. There we go. Now I can let that dry. I can go ahead and I can sand some of it off. I always put a plastic bag around my little cans. That way if the lid isn't on exactly, um, that's okay. Because that plastic bag will keep it from drying out. All right, that's all going to get put away. Oops. All right, it's all trash. Now, I really highly recommend the Loctite Super Glue, the gel control. They sell that at Dollar General. Any hardware store will carry it. Another thing I really like, um, I tried a different glue and I paid a lot of money for it. This California Thin Stick Fast. Very expensive. You don't get a whole lot and sometimes it doesn't always work. So I'm told that is it true tight? I'll, I'll look up the name and I will post it. But Walmart has a brand that's way bigger than this. This costs like $13 on Amazon. And the one at Walmart is like $6. So you get more in the bottle um, and less price. And it does just as good a job as the um, Super Loctite does. So... Alright, so we're going to glue this down. And I see some red I'm going to end up touching up anyhow. <coughs> Excuse me. So, with the gel, it goes on super quick. It does not run. It just kind of beads up on the wood. and gives me plenty of time to get coverage. Oh no. thought I was running out. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have plenty of time there to put it in place. And then I kind of hold it down for a minute. And if there's anything that I get that oozes out, I just take that and clean it up. You could clean it up with a toothpick if you wanted. Now this is going to go on the front of the bike, but like I said, I am going to put a hole through here because my plan is, because this is going to be a Christmas uh, bike, I want to be able to put some greenery on there. So 
I'm going to need those holes. So let's put a few drops here and put our handlebars on there. And that way too, if I want to get it darker or lighter, it's stuck fast to this so I can manipulate it a little more. So it's just a matter of feeling the piece below it and lining it up. And let's put our bike basket on. And see, this way, with the two little holes there too, I'll be able to stick a piece of wire on this. And when I'm done using this as a Christmas bike, I can take it off and use it also for flowers or whatever I want to carry in there. Oh, we've got to glue our little petal on. I got a little too much on there. Oop. Ah. Your hand sticks together, just pull it apart immediately. There we go. There is our bike. And I will drill a few holes here because there's going to be other stuff, some berries and such on here. When you get this, if you get this kind and you open it, when you turn it and this clicks, that that automatically opens it for you. You don't need to stick a pin down there or anything like that. So basically we used red, black, and gray and stained the handlebars and the seat and the basket. All right, that concludes our tutorial. Um, keep watching. I have a special another special project that I'm going to be working on this week. Um, it'll be a painting tutorial for that one also. All right, have a great day. Thank you.